To St. Margaret's Westminster come 400 guests for the wedding of lovely 24-year-old Joan Finlay to the Earl of Westmoreland. It's society's wedding of the year, and the crowd gathers to pick out the personalities straight out of Debrett. The American ambassador's daughter, Sharman Douglas, is a popular favorite, but as usual, all eyes are for the bride, a picture in white tulle. The bridegroom can smile, he's got the picture for keeps. Bridesmaid Georgina Ward nearly escaped, but we caught her in time. Men of the 36th Army Engineer Regiment launched the first section of a Bailey Bridge that's to help cope with traffic to the Festival of Britain. The finished bridge will be 1150 feet long and carry foot passengers from Charing Cross over into the exhibition restaurant. With the section in position, block and tackle and good old manpower does the rest. Pioneers and RASC are helping. National servicemen form about half of the construction crew, many of them with only about a month's service. going well when suddenly 40 feet of the section crashed into the Thames. It's not yet known what caused the accident, but the bridge, which is about the widest the army has tackled, is not ruined. Bailey bridges come in sections, so somebody's only got to run along and fetch a spare. Somebody's holding up things and Jack and Daphne are annoyed. The press are waiting at... Ah, that's better. The housewarming's on. Jack and Daphne, like lots of us, have been victims of the housing shortage and they've been tucked away out of sight, whilst that young upstart Brumus has been basking in luxury quarters. But at last their turns come, and are they lapping up their good luck? Twins are five months old. Father is a Syrian, mother one of the Browns. But they're not snobby, so drop in sometime. 